Hi, I'm Amy Brin, the Executive Director and CEO of the Child Neurology Foundation. For the past six months, every time I talk with you, I'm talking about COVID-19, and I'm talking about the impact it's having on our shared child neurology community. On behalf of the Child Neurology Foundation staff and leadership, we are so grateful for the insights and stories, the questions and the comments you have shared with us throughout this time. You have been so completely vulnerable with us, sharing some of your deepest needs. In April, you told us that you needed money and you needed it now. And we responded six weeks later with distributing $100,000 straight back into the community, back to our families and to our peer advocacy organizations. You told us that you were overwhelmed with the amount of information being thrown at you. And you were more confused than ever about making the right decision for your child's care. We responded with generating fresh, original, educational content, first being released April 8th, on the emerging needs that you identified. You said, what the heck is telehealth? How am I supposed to be using it? You told us, now I've got to start getting ready for school. I don't know if my child should go back to school. You told us, I don't know if I'm supposed to be accessing therapies right now when I'm supposed to be social distancing. And by no means did we do this alone. We signaled a call to our national partners, advocates, funders, physicians, lawyers, school administrators, nurses, therapists, you name it. And they came calling. We said there is overwhelming need and we need to do something now and we need to do it together. And over 25 partners responded. You wanna see what the child neurology community can get done in less than three months? check out our COVID-19 landing page on the childneurologyfoundation.org's website. It's incredible. Don't tell me that the child neurology community is not a resilient one or it's not one that's collaborative. We are. In a time of a pandemic, all we did was support each other and we kept moving forward. Now, earlier this month, the CDC released a statement that specifically stated that children who are medically complex who have a, a neurologic, genetic, metabolic uh, disease or, or congenital heart disease, that these children are at a higher risk for severe illness related to COVID-19 uh, compared to other children. Sadly, this is not new news for us. Um, we, we understand that our children have physical fragility, but what that does is it reinforces the Child Neurology Foundation's Board of Directors strategy during this time of COVID-19 that we need to support our families so that they can make the best informed and balanced decisions to keep their children safe. But here's what is new. We now see that COVID-19 itself, it's not going away anytime soon, nor are the resets that it has caused in our healthcare systems, in our schools, in our advocacy organizations, in our homes and in our hearts. It's now time to acknowledge and own the fact that the child neurology community is transitioning towards a new normal. And while times are very uncertain, we remain a strong, resilient community. And the Child Neurology Foundation is doubling down on you. We are doubling down on our belief in this community. I am super jazzed to tell you that we're about to release another $100,000 back into the community, back to our families, and back into our organizations. We got you, we believe in you, you can do this. When you rise up, we all rise up. And we will continue to provide fresh emerging educational content on the new emerging needs of this new normal that our families and our partners are telling us about. And we will continue to emotionally support you through our Family Support and Empowerment Program and through our new program called Community of Practice for our peer advocacy leaders. We stand in our commitment to this community, to the child neurology community. We stand with you. Together, we will get through this because together we are child neurology. Have a good day and I'll, and I'll talk to you soon.